Happy? Merry? Holly Dolly! Christmas, Christmas in July! July! We are continuing our Christmas in July celebration today, but today we're going to make a yummy Christmas brunch and we have our Christmas tree up. We've got our new Hallmark ornament. The July issue. So we're going to get those unboxed. So let's get started. I gotta know. All right, well, you saw yesterday, we did a super fun Christmas in July craft. So we are continuing along with the Christmas in July collab hosted by Elena over at the Hall Family Adventures. So today we're gonna cook some super fun Christmas in July recipes, but also just like Christmas recipes. So you can follow this way and use it for the holidays this year. We thought it'd be super fun to do a Christmas brunch because Christmas in July is on Sunday this year and we love doing Sunday brunch. So we are going to make two recipes. I have like a red and green hash brown egg frittata I'm gonna make. And then I'm also gonna make some hot chocolate pancakes. I'm so excited. But first, we're gonna get all of our new Hallmark ornaments out. Every year they do a couple releases and they do a Christmas in July release. So we got six, new ornaments this year that we're super excited about. So we're gonna get those up on the tree and then we're gonna cook some mini breakfast. All right, so we bought six ornaments at the July pre-release. So Wally, you wanna show us the first one? Oh, this is mommy's special one and I'm super excited about it for Halloween. It's the Hocus Pocus Winifred Sanderson ornament. It's not super Christmassy, but hey, you can celebrate Hocus Pocus year round. So excited about this one. Then, we got the Disney story. This is like, I think it's maybe the last one in the Storyteller series. I don't know. They have the Storyteller series for a long time. Um, but this one was the Walt and Mickey statue. This, this one is actually in Disney's California Adventure Park. I love it. It's like Walt arriving in Hollywood. It's such a good one. We had Mickey to get on that one. Shoulder. Love it. What's this one, buddy? I think this is the one you're most excited about. What is it? Bone shaker. Bone shaker, here, let me see. So there's the Hot Wheels bone shaker. I don't think we've ever seen a Hot Wheels ornament before. And Bye. bone shaker is one of his favorite, favorite cars. I'm gonna open it right <laughs> He's gonna Just open it careful. right now. It, uh, it moved. That is cool. And that is it out in the box. Let me tell you what it can do. It can no. move, and it actually has real Hot Wheels. Does it actually say Hot Wheels on it? Hot Wheels. Wow. All right, what's the next one, buddy? I've been holding out on that. Oh, this is Mommy's special ornament. I collect all the Disney precious moments, and this year it was Cinderella and the Fairy Godmother. I love it so much. What is it? And then this is another series that I collect. I have all the little cupcakes for my sugar plum tree. And this one was so cute. It was a little really reindeer cute. treat. I love him so much. And the last one, and this one I know is the last in the series of the Miss Mickey's movie mouse tour pieces. <laughs> um, but it's Steamboat Willie. Willie. He's oh, so, it's so cool. cute. I love him so much. This one was like sold out super fast. So I'm glad we got it. cupcake he's so cute I love the little pretzel ears with the sparkles on it and then down here is the Walt and Mickey storyteller I love it so much this is one of our favorite statues in the park and I just love all the details on it it says Walt Disney cartoonist on there and then animated picture animated motion picture studios so cool and then Winifred Sanderson down here She's so pretty, I love her. I really love the style of the Hocus Pocus characters. She's so cool with her spell book. I just love that one so much. And then here is the Precious Moments, Fairy Godmother and Cinderella. It's so pretty, she's so sparkly. I love the detail, the sparkles on her dress. 
And then here's Wally's favorite, the bone shaker. It's much bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it is really cool and the wheels really turn. And as Wally pointed out, it even has the official Hot Wheels logo on the bottom. I don't know how much he's gonna spend on the tree. I think Wally's gonna be stealing him to drive him around quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And then the last one here is Steamboat Willie and he is just so cool. I love the like black and white, gray details and like his little tail even. He is really, really cool. So I'm loving all the ornaments that we picked out for the July preview. We've got more coming out in October out. and some in December. So stay tuned for those. All right, so like I said, I'm going to make a hash brown egg frittata. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to have some red peppers and then green spinach in there. I am gonna add a little bit of ham just because it's yummy and adds a little bit of protein. Um, also have some diced onion. You could use any kind of onion you want, red, white, yellow. I just had white onions on hand. So I've got everything chopped up and ready to go for that. You'll need a muffin tin and then you'll just spray this down. You also need some hash browns. We just got the Alexa frozen hash browns to make it a little bit easier. Some shredded cheese of your choice. I did a goat's Gouda cheese, which I'm super excited about. A tablespoon of butter, six eggs, and then some heavy cream, but we're dairy free, so I'm actually gonna sub that out for some oat milk. So I'm gonna get the first part of this mixed up. We're actually just going to um, mix up basically our hash browns and then put those down in the pan. Those will cook for about 30 minutes until they get crispy, and then we'll put the frittata mix on top. All right, so in a large bowl, I've tossed together my hash browns and then two cups of our shredded cheese. And then I have my muffin tin. I sprayed it with some oil. It did want a cooking oil spray with flour, which they don't really have for gluten-free. So I just sprinkled some gluten-free flour in there. And now I'm going to spoon these in and kind of tightly pack it down. It said about a half a cup per muffin tin. And then those are gonna bake in the oven for 30 minutes until they're nice and crispy brown. All right, well, I've got my hash browns all into my muffin tins. They actually ended up making two dozen with the amount of hash browns I had. So those are gonna cook for about 30 minutes at 375 until they get nice and crispy, and then we'll add in all the eggs. All right, and while the hash browns cook up in the oven, I have taken my spinach, I've pressed all of the moisture out of it, and then over here on the stove, I have a tablespoon of butter going with my onions. I'm gonna let those cook for about five minutes until they're translucent. And then we will add in the spinach. I'm also gonna throw in my red peppers and my ham. Um, those are just additional things I'm doing in the recipe. And then we will spoon that in on top of the potatoes and pour in our eggs on top. And while Irene is cooking up over there, I'm shaking up something over here. Going to make ourselves two cocktails for this brunch. First one, Santa's stuck in the Caribbean. It's basically uh, a whole lot of grenadine. Give it that red color. We've got this Caribbean sunset Tropicana. Put about half an ounce of the grenadine in there. About Three, two to three ounces of the Caribbean Sunset, two ounces of Bacardi Silver, and a little splash of lime juice in there. Got it all in the shaker, let's shake it up. I just kind of made this up, but it should be a, uh, should be a decent reddish color. Let's taste it. Maybe a little pink. Ooh. Like good? Santa's stuck in the Caribbean. <laughs> Irene has just renamed the cocktail to Santa's Runoff to the Caribbean. It's my favorite Jimmy Buffett Christmas song. Ho, 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 ho and, and a, a bottle, bottle of, of rum. rum. Santa's Runoff to the Caribbean. So number two is going to be, these aren't Santa's mules. <laughs> these aren't Santa's reindeer. <laughs> We're going to start out one and a half ounce of vodka. 
three quarter ounce Midori. I'm gonna give it that lovely green color. A little bit of lime juice. Top it with the ginger beer. All right, my hash brown bowls are out of the oven. They look crispy and delicious. I'm going to spoon in my spinach, red pepper, ham and onion mix on top of these. And then I have, I did actually eight eggs and then three fourths cup of my oat milk. You would normally do heavy cream and then some salt and pepper. And we'll put that on top. And then these will go back in the oven for another half an hour at 375 degrees. All right, those are looking fantastic. I topped them with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna throw these back in the oven for 30 minutes and work on my pancakes. All right, well, my frittatas are looking delicious. Over here, I've got my hot cocoa maple syrup going. So this is a cup of maple syrup and a fourth a cup of hot cocoa mix. So I'm gonna bring that to a boil. That'll go on top of the pancakes. And then for my pancake mixture, Super simple recipe, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of hot cocoa mix, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of fine salt. And then I have my egg mixture over here, which is one and a fourth cup milk, four tablespoons of melted butter, two large eggs, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna mix these up together and start frying them up on my griddle. And then we're gonna top them with hot cocoa syrup and whipped cream. I'm very excited about this recipe. All right, well, here's the full spread. There's our pancakes and the frittata. Mark made some awesome bacon. We have a whole box of these mini peppermint meringues left from Christmas this year, so we're busting those out. A whole bunch of syrup, ready whip, and all the delicious cocktails. So let's dig in. celebrating Christmas in July with us. Hopefully you guys did something fun to celebrate too. This is technically, I think like our second year celebrating yeah. Christmas in July. Like last year we formally celebrated it for the first time. So thanks so much to Lena for hosting this awesome craft and recipe collab for Christmas in July. Make sure you go check out her channel, The Hall Family Adventures. And make sure you check out everybody else's channels, link down in the description down below so you can see yeah. all the awesome recipes that and people made. Down below. And comment down below, yes. <laughs> and that like button. And that like button. <laughs> And that bell button. Yeah, while well, you're down there, make sure if you're not a subscriber, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and bell icon. So why, buddy? So they can see your next video. Yeah. We got lots more Disney I adventures and travel adventures coming your way. So happy Christmas in July. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your summer. This is the wonderful world of Walter. And we love you just the way you are. Bye. Bye.